Previously on Never After the Tour Diary. My first ever Andy Gillian band practice. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap on the first practice. Guys, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You've got a disc bulge annulus tear, the sacral spine. You've got this bulge there as well. It rarely completely heals back to normal. I'm not sure I wanted to know that, to be honest with you. Here's the studio for the rehearsal for the chorus tour. Smash it, boys! <laughs> Three days time, we're gonna be heading over to Adelaide for our first gig. Could be the last time we ever play together in this room. Three months this has been, three months of preparation. We have the last practice here, and then we're gonna hit the road. Or well, hopefully, we'll start the actual tour diary then, because all I've been doing is an hour of us practicing in this fing room. How's it going, gang? Hello. It's too early for this, isn't it? It is. But we are here. We're loading up the old trailer. 6 a.m. I don't know if the GoPro will pick this up, to be honest. It's pretty dark. All right, boys. We're on the road. We're on the road. Dr. Gareth behind me. Hello. Leon at the wheel. And look at these fing avocado packs. Bang it, mate. Check them out. Right over it. Don't look too close. Oh, no, you don't want to smell them. I, I <laughs> didn't ask. <laughs> You're lucky cameras can't smell. <laughs> yeah, yes. you are. We're on the way to Adelaide for the first show of the tour. So, feeling pretty good. Is everyone feeling good about that? Yeah. Yeah, feeling pretty chill. <laughs> I gotta say, this car's pretty good. It's not only got the arse warmer, but it's got the arse cooler. So, uh, I will be using those frivolously on the drive. Adelaide, I saw it. 600, hang on a minute, 670. 670. This is only... kilometers. This is only an hour, what's it, hour, hour and a half drive? No? Yes. To Ararat, not to Adelaide. It's a 10 hour drive to Adelaide, mate. You are f***ing with me, right? <laughs> <laughs> My back is, is coping for now, but we will assess that as yeah, we go. After three and a half years I have not played for, so gonna be a bit rusty, I think. It doesn't feel like we're playing a gig tonight, though, I will say that. Really? It doesn't feel like that to me. I mean, it really doesn't. Get on it. Probably should have brought your guitar, eh? Probably should have packed the uh, guitar, yeah. So what's happened? So they've broken down already? So his low oil indicator went off. His car was making unhappy noises. Oh so my God. he needs Do we need to get oil? Swing back, yep. find them because they've stopped on the yep. side of the road. Send these live locations, so I know exactly where they are. And give them the oil because we think that's yep. gonna fix the problem. So when we pull over, I'll show you. Yeah. Side, uh, side, side quest. Side quest. Side quest accepted. Side quest. It's annoying. I didn't get a side quest from a dude in a robe with a staff. I know, right. but we're, well, maybe Chris is wearing a yeah, robe. He could be wearing a robe. So yeah. we've been driving for half an hour and they've already broken down. Uh. <laughs> Fucking off to a good start, Jesus. Oh wait. <clears throat> 10.40? We have a 10.40. Okay. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> I just can't believe we've broken down already. This is just ridiculous. We've literally been on the road for about half an hour. There's always drama as soon as I turn this f***ing GoPro on. I shouldn't have turned it on. Alright, let's go and meet up with them and assess the damage. I hope we can fix it. Otherwise we are royally you want to get one of these two litre bad boys, well, fill it with tea and it'll never go hungry again. We're halfway back towards Melbourne now to bring the oil. Bring wood and oil. Hopefully we can actually set off if we can fix Chris's car. If not, we'll just set it on fire. We might have to go back and get Luke's car at this rate. We might actually have to do that. There's always drama on one of my tour blocks, so here we go. There they are. There they are. I can see them. That's them. Yeah. Here's the rescue mission. Push it! Load-in's at four. It's coming up to nine o'clock. Things are looking pretty bad. The noise it made, I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's a thing for cars. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring any food. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Well, thank you for being saviors. I, I can only assume this is what it is because the light came on and it did that ticking sound where I'm like, I've heard this in a car before. Mm. I assume it's just oil. And it's also dragging a trailer. So. My Not suggestion it. now is to make up the time. If we want to stop at the Macca's, in the car, car don't stop. Yep, that's a good idea. Do we need to start doing piss bottles? No, no, we don't need to do that. <laughs> that's not happening. We've got the funnel. It's We've, fine. Got funnel. We've got the funnel. We've got the funnel. Here I'm thinking I'm coming up to 34 years old and I've roughed it enough. <laughs> and you're bringing out that fucking orange thing. You are, you are touring Australia, my friend. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
Andy, uh, tell Gary the question you asked me last night. Oh yeah, I said to Chris, so uh, I know this is ridiculous and you're gonna think I'm stupid, but I don't need to bring my own guitar stand, do I? <laughs> and he, he had that reaction. Yeah. And I said, yeah, sorry, I guess it's embarrassing. I shouldn't have asked. It's obvious that they would have them. <laughs> and they don't f***ing have no, them. No, 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 no. Oh. I'm like, there's Never no assume chance. they have anything. You might even have to bring your own PA. For what it's worth, we have toilet seats. Just remember that. That is true. That is true. To which, to which we will still recommend you hold a squad over. Well, yeah, because they probably have spiders underneath. Yeah. Snakes and spiders. Snakes and spiders. I've been told not to look up when I go to the toilet as well for some reason. Questions. What's that? Snail? Why is there a snail in there? That's, that's, that's what it was! That's a f***ing snail in your car! This car has snails. That's how it has snails. Right, okay. We've sorted the problem. The car had snails. Problem solved. The engine had a snail in it. Let's get the f*** out of it. Come on. His car won't start. This, no. car, this car won't start. Yeah. Um, okay, it wasn't the snail then. At least they change the good. Probably get demonetized for having them in the video. So. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> meters, one meter. Fuck. Got it, bud. Thanks, Leon. Yeah. Say the magic words. Which was? She'll be right. She'll be right, yeah. She'll be right. It's dead. Oh, no, that clicking noise is not good. I think he needs to get roadside assistance out. Oh, that's not going anywhere. All right, so here's the plan. Chris is calling roadside assistance. They're gonna try and start the car, fix it, put a new battery in, we don't know. We don't just can't start the car. We're gonna go on ahead. The absolute plan C is that if that car is a complete write-off, which I don't know, maybe it is. Gonna have to try and pick up Luke's car, which is the only car that has a tow bar. Bring it back. Are all uh, Aussie tours like this, mate? Show must go on. Show must go on. I'm back, friend. We swap Luke for Frankie. Frankie in the house. With, with, this okay is the live band. band. This is the live band, actually, yeah. Minus two really songs with Chris and Lass. We can do two songs without bass. This is pretty dangerous now. Gary's gonna play uh, traffic controller out here. This is a busy fucking road. Leon's gonna have to be quick to turn this around. There's actually another car that's broken down down there. And I don't know if we've started a trend. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Good job, nice one, nice one. Absolutely essential stop here at Macca's. Anxiety attacks, burgers all around basically. Do you hate Macca's, don't you mate? <laughs> He's put worse things in his mouth. We're off to a rocky start. Would be an understatement to be honest with you, but. Just like Rocky though. He bounces back. Yeah. yeah. We need a montage, mate. That's what we need. We're gonna need a montage. We need a muck montage. A what? A muck montage. <laughs> We gotta get footage of Frankie eating because he f hates McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Sorry, man. It's got nothing on Italian cuisine, has it, bud? Dude, I told you there was also like a truck stop attached to it. You could have gotten a f corn dog and a sausage roll. That was worse than Mecca's. That's a f problem. That's asking for diarrhea. <laughs> What'd you get, Gary? Uh, ham and cheese toasty and raisin toast. Oh, look at him, lardy f***ing up. I've taught Italy a few times, right? I don't know much Italian, I want you to verify this. Hit me up with some you ready? essential Italian, yeah. Essential for the road Italian. <laughs> Belle di tonne. <laughs> nice breasts. Ah. Nice How do you say that? I thought it was Belle di tonne. It's tete. Tete? Tete. Belle di tete. Belle di tete. Ah, belle di tete, okay. <laughs> I f***ed up, there you go, there you go. Yep. Yep. Yes. The engine's just full of snails. <laughs> What's the score, uh, Gary? Chris's engine is no longer functioning. Yeah, at all. But the guy <clears throat> has to give him a lift back to the depot in Backers Marsh. Their first thought was to get flights up. That's not going to happen. No. So the idea at the moment is that they're probably just going to have to Uber back to Chris's house and get Lou's car. Grab the trailer and try and get there in whatever time frame they can. Good day, Jan. 
Ah, not bad, not bad. Oh, I'm not doing bad. The other car, however, has uh, broken down. So what are you gonna do? The car is apparently dead, dead. Cactus. Ca ab absolutely cactus. Uh, I thought you were all gonna go in one car. Two cars. We've got two bands worth of people. We need a clown car. We've got like five people in my car. And then car right. number two, which is Chris's, has four people and right. a trailer. Oh, and a trailer? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Um, um, <laughs> thought I'd give you an update on where we were. Right. You feel like coming to Adelaide for a weekend? <laughs> I'd love to. I've got these dogs here. I don't know how to look out these dogs. I'd love to come to Adelaide for the weekend. Give me a bit of time. Let me think. Okay. No worries. Bye. Bye. Who's that? He's wow. free. He goes yeah. straight to Becker's Marsh and get the trailer, right? Yeah. Yeah. He picks up the trailer and trails Luke's. that shit. Everyone else just gets in Luke's car. And no, yeah. everyone gets in Dad's car. Yeah. Is there enough room for... He's, been, he's got a five-seater Hilux. Well, Leon okay. just spoke to his dad. He can get someone to sit for his dogs. Wait, your dad's a yeah, legend. Yeah. Absolute legend. Do you want me to like, yes, my car breaking is out of my control, but I would still... His response just now, and everyone can attest to this on the phone, he's like, F I'm not working till Wednesday, I'd love to come to Adelaide tonight. Dude, if he's happy to do that, we will obviously sort him out. If we leave here even at, say, 12 o'clock-ish, we should still have time for Andy and everyone to get on stage. We just have to not use the drum kit that's in our trailer, obviously. Do we have an option to use an Adelaide drum, drum kit? kit? Yes, we have. All right, so we we've got it, a yeah. drum kit in Adelaide that we're able to use through Frankie. Yeah. I guess we just try to make it work. I'll keep you posted. What a vlog, right? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> you Patreon people are getting your money's worth! Bruce! Oh, I think I got it. I'll call you back to say if I'm going to be leaving here in about 15, 20, 15 minutes to come down. Legend! Um, Legend. <laughs> Everyone in the car thank is you. so happy. Yeah. Thank you so, so, so much. That is the ultimate rescue. Right um, there. With Chris's car? It's been towed. Yeah. It's yep. been towed to an RACV depot. Apparently the car's absolutely buggered. Yep. Cactus. 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 You're a bloody um, legend, mate. Bloody legend. Absolute shout out to your dad, Thank man. you. Absolute yeah. shout out. How are you guys going? We just loaded up. Oh, fantastic. Loaded everything up and we're on our way. Boom. What's your ETA? Yep. We would probably get there around the time this video starts. We can go straight through the trailer with Andy. Yeah, straight backstage. I'll obviously deal with the rack and everything. Otherwise, we'll cut a couple of songs to make sure Andy gets the full set. Yep. It's very kind of you, mate. Thanks to everyone for keeping together. And I am so sorry for Oh. It's gonna be tight. Very it's not gonna tight. be the chillest, be but it's gonna be good. It'll be the illest. It'll be the illest, and we're all professionals here. We're not here to count shoes on caterpillars. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard we're not here to f spiders. We're not here That's to count shoes on caterpillars. This is f brilliant. Has anyone else got any good Aussie slang? Uh, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah, and nah, oh, yeah. yeah. If I knew anything. I've got one is uh, if you're hungry, you say, I could bite the ass of a low flying duck. We're on track to make it to the venue in time. The other guys, not so much. I think I'm going on at 8.20. I think they're gonna arrive at eight. It's gonna be stressful, but we're gonna make it work. We've arrived at a little town called Dimboola. Yeah, we're trying to find a Dunny, mate. There's nothing between Melbourne and Adelaide. We have arrived in Border Town. Border Town. Once again, in the middle of nowhere. We've got a couple of hours left. Maybe two and a half hours till Adelaide. Looking forward to my first solo gig. How's the toilet in there, mate? F someone else. Is Don't it? Is it? Is it, so it. Is it vloggable? It. Is it vloggable? <laughs> in fact, he's laughing maniacally. Makes me worried. Oh, it's a cesspit. Oh no. Oh pretty. Oh pretty. We almost there, Leon. One hour away, we're almost freaking there. Can't believe it, I can't believe it. We're talking about diarrhea anymore. We were talking a lot, we're talking about Taco Bell diarrhea again. I believe the guys are a couple of hours behind us, but it's gonna be a time, we're gonna make it. Adelaide is for some reason half an hour time zone behind. I didn't realize that was possible to go only half an hour, but Adelaide managed to do it, so. Look at it, it's pretty. It's like Hobbiton. Good scenery. I'm not scenery. <laughs> not some cheap whore. Yes, you are. You are. We're in Adelaide. We're here. We're here. Let's go stick an R on that side. Looks like we made it. Oh. That clock's wrong because Adelaide's got a up time zone. It's, it's we left. half an hour half. It's, it's half an hour half. Half an hour half. Half an hour half. Half an hour half. 
<laughs> it's 5 p.m. I got up at 5 a.m. It's now 5 p.m. What time we leave Chris is like 7. So we've been on the road for a good 10 hours. Good one, Gary. Thanks. Yeah, nice one, mate. So here we are, the Lion Arts Factory. Lion Arts Factory, they make lions here. No, lions make art. So there's no parking at all times, by the way. Just gonna throw that out there. We're gonna take a yeah. wicked whiz. Okay. Yeah, guys, gotta take this leak, hey? All right, let's go check out the venue. <sighs> Bloody hell, my back is not good, and my left knee is for some reason very unhappy with me. We f***ing made it! How are you doing? Good to see you, mate. Guys, the guys, how you doing, mate? You all right? How's it going? How's it going? Doing all right, buddy. You doing all right? Hey, hey, hey. Steve, Andy, oh, good, good to see you. Andy. Great to see you, man. Yeah. We just made it. We just made it. Hey, ourselves up like a horse. Yeah. We are. <laughs> Did you bring your guy liner and all that no. stuff? No. This is a beautiful backstage. Yeah. You can smell the dry ice already. It's bringing back the memories. Yeah, it's nice. They've redone it up. Like memories of yeah. hard bread. Hard bread. Dilly Which... meats. <laughs> yeah. This is uh... fantastic. Happy. Happy, happy Frank? Happy lad? Like happy Ryan? No. You're not? What's wrong? Oh, no. No deli meats? <laughs> no deli meats, no. Okay. That's a problem. I want some stale cheese. <laughs> You'll get your stale cheese, don't get worry. Get me my stale cheese. This is pretty sick, actually. Look at this. PS1. Jesus Christ. FIFA 11! Oh, we the best some, one! Play some FIFA, for sure. <laughs> Soccer games. Soccer. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Football. Football. I'll have you know, it's pronounced foosball. We have a piano. Ah, the tea and coffee making facilities. Bit disappointed, there's no English breakfast. It's just Aussie afternoon there. Selection of milk. We've all got these black shirts, but then Frankie far, rocked up with the, the crackle effect. Oh, come on. Frankie, it's not gonna fly. Even Saldas bullied me for that. It's not gonna fly, mate. It's completely different groups of friends, but maybe not. It's too loud, it's too loud. It's your opinion, but you're actually wrong. Oh, he's upset. The thing is, Italians have good fashion sense, so we kind of, I, I left it up to a vote and obviously They'll be wearing some very smart tappers underneath the kit However, no one will see them We're inside Adelaide, in the belly, in the underbelly of Adelaide We're gonna get some food in into guts. our bellies, into our guts Look, in See guts. how I brought that background? I don't know where we're going, but we're gonna aim it down there And we're gonna get some food and we're gonna run back to the venue Hopefully the other guys will arrive by then A little bit nervous because I want to warm up I want to get into my clothes The stage clothes are all in the bloody uh, trailer Yeah, uh, the guitar's in the trailer Everything I have is in the trailer So uh, I can't do anything until they arrive Which will be bang on doors opening so yeah pretty daunting but starting to get excited about the gig there starting to get excited let's find a burger and let's play some metal this is the hotel for tonight's stay the riviera very very snazzy i haven't done the spider inspection yet but we'll get to it ah uh, yes the tea and coffee making facilities and a bottle of red it's a shiraz what's going on there do we have to pay for that soon we do it's part of the minibar i'm sure let's see are they gonna butcher oh they've done it yes English breakfast, as requested. None of this Aussie shit. Oh, here we've got a bit of a Robert Tim's granulated coffee for the man who needs to drink granules for some reason. Extra pillows, that's what you want. Get okay, that I haven't told the guys yet. Frankie and Ryan are going to have to bunk together tonight. All right, I'm not made of money. These guys are going to have to be... Uh... Frankie's only small anyway, I think it'll be fine. When Ryan washed, he washed his sins away. Wash him away. What I love about this hotel is they've gone to the extreme of getting a teapot. I can't remember requesting the teapot, but I'm thankful for it. But touch of class to the tour already. The the wine though, Ryan. Hmm? I don't think it's gratis. I don't think that one's on the house. Uh, that's one of those ones you have to pay for. I think so, yeah. I don't like how they get you with that. They've also got as well one of these. A long row Sauvignon. Alright, let's get the f out of here. Let's go back to the venue. Let's go, go play a gig. Yeah, I guess so. We should get more pump than that, really. Mm. Yeah. Let's play a gig! Alright. They've made it! We're You've we're made out. it! Well done! We didn't die. Well done! The show will go on oh, yeah. at long last. That's the rescue mobile there. 
you. You must be the absolute legend that bailed us out. <laughs> no worries. Oh, Thanks so me. much, no mate. Worries. Thank you so much. No. You saved our asses today. It's a man who likes his whiskey. So this is your pre-gig. Pre-gig ritual. One shot of whiskey. Mm. Okay, bottoms yeah. up, buddy. Cheers. Mm. Mm. I sip it, I'm not gonna shot it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Not much of a ritual. To you're, you're, you're a man of uh, gentrification. <laughs> I'm gonna do something in the vlog where, you know those Jack Daniels adverts? I'm gonna do one of you, so like slow motion of you just like drinking whiskey and... <sighs> I don't have the long hair anymore. Felt like it would have been good to do that. Like yeah, it would have been. It yeah. You see, Ryan always likes his riffs fast and his whiskey slow. This is Ryan's way. The Huffman's way. Feeling good, Gary? Yeah, it's a bit of heartburn. It's been a bit of a manic rush to get on there, but we're all here. I threw my merch on the table and I think Kez is selling it, so... I can go check it on. I don't know if anyone's actually going to buy any, of course. Is I didn't. manning the stand while well, yeah, not? Yeah, uh, I don't know about that. Merch is free while we're on stage. I have no idea what's going on, to be honest. Give us another one of those, mate. Whoa. Boy, it's up. Happy now? Very happy. Well, no, that's we're on in five minutes. We're on in guys, running too. Like bloody better, not like. I'm a little bit nervous. It's gonna be good.
it's not cutting out every second? Yes. You can? Yes. That's a problem, isn't it? Yes. Frank, you said it, buddy. Thank you so much. You've been awesome. And this one is Skyless. How are you feeling, Andy? Yeah, it hurts so bad. <laughs> what hurts? Um, uh, every vertebrae scraping against each other. Please send morphine. Fill us in, fill us in, Papa G. I need morphine. It was a great gig. I actually vibed quite well. Thought it was good. The crowd were great. The entire show, my guitar was cutting out though. Tremolo effect going. Ah, 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 ah. I don't know why. I don't understand what just happened. But people seem to kind of dig it. So I'm just gonna get drunk now. Tell everyone you did it on purpose. I think it was that effect. It was that Green Day effect at the start of. Uh, yeah. What was that song? Every song is basket case. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I'm just in pain. I'm in pain. Nothing but suffering. It's it is suffering. It's what this is. But for some some reason we do it, you know? and, uh, well, I mean, most people are fine. I mean, I, they don't have three set discs, but would I do it again? Probably. Four more shows, right? Yeah, I mean, we, you can't quit now. I honestly don't know how. It's too I'm late. I don't know how I'm going to get home tomorrow. I'm broken. How did you feel? I was fine. I couldn't hear shit, but <laughs> so how do you know if it was yeah. fine? You just felt, you felt good, yeah. Just good vibes, you know. Yeah, good vibes. That's what it's about. It's about the vibes. If you're not having fun, there's no point. Yeah, the vibes were there. The vibes were there. These are such a good gang of people. Four. Ryan said he's admitting four mistakes. I think I heard five. I think he's telling Porky's there. Oh, were they? It was my first ever solo gig, and I'm quite proud of it. So, uh, proud to have taken this on the road with these fine gentlemen. So, thanks, man. <sighs> Fucking hell, this is bad. I'm not even milking this, like, my back is fucked. Onwards and upwards. Who can see his hands here? Oh my god, are you in this? Your right trigger went out. No, you got the wrong guy. Well, they've got me selling my own bloody merch, so... I've got to do the old uh, tap on there with your credit card deal. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. Orpheus have gone on, they left me to do it. I'm selling their merch, I'm selling my merch. I've never done this before, I'm a little bit nervous. Oh my god, you can't see anything because they've accidentally put the haze on for too long. The fog machine's out of control. We just dropped that the other day. If you haven't checked out the video, could be bad listen to it, please do it. We think it's a bit of a banger. Did you guys enjoy Andy Gilliam? Yeah. Oh, not good enough, I have idiots in. I said, did you enjoy Andy fucking Gilliam? Yeah. Now, we had a spot of trouble on the way out. Thank you. We haven't played here in three years. We were very excited. We had a trailer all sorted out. My engine died. Oh, wait, that's so Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got RECV to the local fucking shop, and we were like, what the fuck are we gonna do? How are we gonna get here? And I don't know where he is in the room, but I wanna make some fucking noise. You guys need to make this noise for Nick Leon's dad, who drove from fucking Melbourne. Woo!
Uh, are they one of your favorites? Yes, they're very good. Well, I know they're good, I just didn't know they were your favorites. <laughs> So we're back in the hotel and we got the giggles a little bit because um, the final photo that we took uh, with the crowd at the end of the gig. <laughs> Let's just say uh, I didn't realize we were in the fucking blue man group, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it came out. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not a very good pick. I'm going to see what I can do about um, restoring it, but I don't think there's much we can really do. We are horribly lit. I blame Kane, to be honest with you. I think he might have popped out for a beer when we did that photo. It gets better because I zoomed in on Frankie's face. This way it's like... <laughs> I tried to do facial recognition, but unfortunately it didn't pick anything up. So uh, to show you what we're working with here, this is Frankie apparently. <laughs> this is Frankie. That's all that came out. The most important photo potentially of my career. <laughs> That's what we look like. <laughs> Frankie's best. <laughs> you know, he's got no eyes. Good gig though. Good gig. Sounds pretty good. I'm pretty happy to be in bed though, are you? Yeah. Pretty f happy to be horizontal to be honest with you. Blue Man Group will return to a venue near you soon. Over and out. See you in Brisbane. Good morrow. We survived the night. Just about put the old kettle on. I'm gonna make myself a pot of tea. What if I put a light on, right? Nature's light bulb. We didn't get the scenic view, unfortunately. It is time to make tea. I'm gonna double bag this one. It'll be a double bagger. Ambitious. I do like to be ambitious. I'll let that brew. Don't forget these biscuits. Take them for the road, eh? There's your breakfast, bud. Now in the tea, mate. You can say no. Oh, it's beautiful, look at that. Look at the colour on it. That might be the thing that finally someone else needs to. Yeah, I'm hoping it's gonna evacuate the three burgers and chips that I had last night. Is there no milk? You savages! How could they do this? Is that milk? Is there at least powdered milk? You absolute heathens. Is there a little mini fridge somewhere? I'll come in here. Sure. No, you're right. All right, you've saved the day, Ryan. Thanks, mate. I thought that was the tour over, to be honest with you. Uh, tour has been saved. We can carry on. We will be at Brisbane now. Can you guarantee it. Yeah, that was it for me. Throw it in the hole. Absolute magic. I feel myself again. So violently British. <laughs> Aggressively British. Aggressively British. And look what that did for Australia. Yeah. We'll cut that out. Pro British tip always take one for the road. That's a good sound. Now you got one for the road, baby. <laughs> we are missing Frankie. We're not really sure what happened to Frankie last night. We think he might have uh, hooked up, maybe. But he's gone. He's gone. And uh, we do need him back at some point. He's far too young and sprightly. Sprightly is a is a clean way to put it. Hopefully we can we can find him. And then it's off to Brisbane next week. Boom. Look who's come back. The prodigal son returns. How was your night, mate? You can't say too much, can you? The difference is, how old are you? 25. He's 25. He's a young gun. I'm gonna be 34 next month, mate. Here's the difference, right? The difference between my tour and Frankie's tour experience is I was up all night with fucking Ryan snoring. Sorry. Listen to a Lord of the Rings audiobook. I got about two hours sleep, this motherfucker. Running around Adelaide. We're old now. Adelaide, we sent it. We did send it though, didn't we? <laughs> we did, we sent it. Brisbane next. We've got to send that one too, buddy. Oh, there's an actual cannon. There's an actual cannon. This is where Orpheus stayed last night. Apparently, this guy owns a cannon. Uh, he has yeah. a cannon in his house. <laughs> so. Yeah, the, the can confirm. Where's the cannon? Oh, the boys are cooking up. Look at this. Uh, was was that up? How are you feeling, bud? Morning. Much better after some sleep, to be honest. I wish I could say the same. Morning. Where's this cannon? What? Look at this place. An MTV Cribs, mate. Is that a pizza oven over there? Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> he owns a cannon! Look at this! Fires and everything. Sorry, wh why are you firing a cannon? Uh, 12 o'clock noon every day, just fire the cannon. I don't know, my sister's kind of a. It's a bit of a, uh, it's a fire arms 
Yeah, he is, yeah, okay. Uh, he's very Dude, sweet are you kidding me? Why did we stay at the hotel? We should have stayed here. So you fire the cannon into the pool? Yeah. Yeah? All right, next time we're staying with you, I think. Even the placemats yeah, are guns. Here's the important question. Tom, I know you've got a cannon, yeah. but do you have any that's, HP source? That's, that's, that's oh, he does. he does! Does he have it? Has he got it? Oh, he's f***ing got it! it. What a f***ing legend! Cheers, buddy. Spence Dix and co and right next door is Cox Rurals. Dix and Cox. We got Dix no, and Cox. Uh, uh, yeah. AG Merch. Hang on a minute. AG Merch, that's me. Andy Gillian Merch. Come on down to Dix and Cox. Budget circumcision. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got so many yeah, Dix and Cox, I don't know what to do with them. Buy one, get one free. Come on down. All right, Frank, I've got some more lessons for you. This one's Italian as well, right? Oh, we got For Napoli. It's just like, fuck off. Oh wow. What about this thing that I did there? Yeah, it's like, I can't give a shit. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't care. All right, there you go. Italian with, uh, with Andy is happening. It's a new vlog segment. That's all I know. So from now on, I'm gonna have to make some things up. All right, cheers. Yeah. How do you say my foreskin is too long? <laughs> <laughs> this is a mission to say. Why is everything it's so hard? I ask you it's like, how to translate I've this. Been and you're like, seven, oh, I've been in Australia for six and a half years. No, so I have a question if he was really Italian now. Just yeah, I reckon he's taking Italian. It. Are you even Italian? All right, Come all on. right, so my foreskin is too long. Is <laughs> Il mio prepuzio è troppo lungo. That's a lot to, to take in, and I'm not just talking about the foreskin. Il mio prepuzio è troppo lungo. Il nino perpezio al nive de bande verdo. Nice. <laughs> you forgot the salami, but my pupati. Pupati, I put the pupati. What's pupati? What's First flight since January 2020, when the world ended. We f***ing made it, buddy! And some drama for you, if the car breaking down wasn't enough. We are now minus a drummer. Takes his shirt off and realizes he has a massive rash over the right side of his body. You have to go to emergency, basically. <laughs> Dead yet. 